in this type of problems what are known as juggler problems a person is juggling a set of balls typical questions relate to finding the speed at which he must throw the ball or maybe the maximum height or maybe the time interval etc the whole idea is something like this let's assume that peat ball is about to be thrown up when the first ball is at the highest position and it throws n balls per second then what are all the main equations and how to arrive at the results the time required to reach the topmost position the time interval between each balls and the maximum height are all important things let's look at the details ball is thrown up at a speed u and it reaches the highest position so clearly the total time taken by each ball to reach the highest position is obtained by first equation of motion v is equal to u plus at so 0 is equal to u minus gt that is capital t here so the time required is given by u divided by g the time required by each ball to reach the highest position is u by g. Now also is thrown up at speed u it reaches the highest position let us assume that we are calculating h. Let us use the third equation of motion v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s 0 is equal to u square minus 2 g h. So, h is equal to u square divided by 2 g. So, if you are given the initial speed you can find out the maximum height it reaches simple. Now, many a times we are not given this we are probably told that he launches n balls and pth ball is launched when the first ball is at the highest position. Let us see how to relate that part. Now, if he launches n balls per second then the time between each balls is n by 1 by n the time between two successive balls is 1 by n simple. Now, let us consider this as equation 1. Now, look at this let us assume that the first ball is at the highest position and pth ball is to be launched this is the second one this is the third one and likewise there are multiple balls at simultaneously simultaneously in air. Now, the first ball would have taken a total time of u by g that means it is in air for an interval of u by g. In this time interval there are many other balls in air also. So, if I consider this t is equal to u divided by g this is the time when pth ball is launched and the first ball is at the highest position. But if I consider time interval between successive balls how many such intervals are there clearly p minus 1 intervals are there right p minus 1 intervals are there. Therefore, the time between these successive balls is the total time in which the first ball is in air divided by number of such intervals. So, u by g is the total time if I divide it by number of such intervals it gives me the time between two successive balls. So, from equation 1 and equation 2 what do we have? We have 1 by n is equal to u by g whole divided by p minus 1 that gives us u is equal to p minus 1 into g divided by n. So, if you are given the value of p and n you can find out the value of u like this or if you are given u and p we can find out n as p minus 1 into g divided by u. So, we can find out the total number of balls or we can find out which 
which ball is launched when the first ball is at the highest position etc for example imagine we are interested in finding the value of p it's easy so using this equation you can get the uh, pth ball or say the uh, number of the ball which is launched when the first ball is at the highest position so this turns out to be what is that un un divided by g plus 1 so this is the pth ball 